Hello world, this is Fleet Hacker 007 and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X or any other operating system onto your Mac, onto your Windows PC. So there's a couple things you're going to need. One is you're going to need a program called VMware Workstation which can be downloaded from this link here. And then if you're installing Mac OS X, you're you're going to want to download this torrent, which, which will be linked to in the description, and it's called OSX 10.11 El Capitan VMware Image. If you're installing another operating system other than Mac OS X, then what you're going to need to do is find an ISO for that operating system and download it. Or like the or like a D, ISO or DMG should, DMG file should work as well. But we're going to go into Mac OS X first because it's a bit different and then I'll go into the other operating systems once I'm done there. So once you've installed VMware, VMware Workstation and uh, downloaded this torrent, then what you want to do is just open VMware, or rather, sorry, extract the OS X 10.11 El Capitan torrent file that you downloaded and you should get this folder right here. Now what you want to do is just come down here, I'm going to just going to show you this to save time, is click on readme.txt and follow these exact instructions on that will that will show up in this text file. And then if you follow these instructions exactly, you should be able to you should end up with a virtual machine in your VMware workstation called OSX 10.11 El Capitan and I'll show that to you. For, although first I'll show you how to edit the virtual machine settings. So if you want to edit the memory uh, how much which is how much process how much of your computer's processing power the maximum processing power of your computer that the virtual machine will be allowed to take up then you just want to then you just want to click on memory and drag this up and down. I'm going to set it to 8 gigabytes of RAM. And that is the max amount of RAM that your virtual machine will be able to take up. Come down here to edit the process. Click on this one here, processors, to edit how many of your computer's processors your virtual machine will be allowed to use. Two is fine for me. And then click on hard disk to edit how much of your of your uh, the maximum amount of memory on your machine that your virtual that uh, your virtual machine will be able to take up. So if you want to change it, all you have to do is just click expand and then adjust it to how many gigabytes of memory you want it to be able to take up. And that is the max. Once again, that is the maximum amount of memory on your hard drive that the machine will be able to use. And then once you've edited it, you just want to click expand, and it'll go through this process. I'm just going to click cancel so we don't have to sit through it. But you get the idea. And then, to be honest, you should... If you have more than if you, if you have more than one monitor, then you just want to choose the number of monitors that you have, and you can change the screen let resolution here if you want. If you want to connect or disconnect USB ports, then you just go to this one and edit your settings. Though you, though you're probably fine to be honest with you. And everything else is probably fine to be honest with you. You can edit it if you want, but that's about it. So once you're done, you just want to click on Play Virtual Machine to start it. And as you can see, it's picking up the uh, the uh, devices on my computer that will work with this virtual machine through VMware. And here we have the Mac OS X boot up screen. 
and once it's all booted up, as you can see, here I am perfectly smoothly, smoothly running Mac OS X El Capitan on my mach on my Windows computer. So I'm here. I can run I can run Mac programs on my laptop, such as if I wanted to create a song in GarageBand or something, I could do that. And I could easily run basically any Mac Mac OS X app on my computer. Some may not work. I, I know iMovie doesn't. But other than that, I haven't had any issues doing anything here. So with, so now I'll show you how to install other operating systems which, with which it's pretty much the same instructions. So, you, To install another operating system, you just want to go to VMware and then click on click on create new virtual machine if you have an installer CD then what you want to do is just put that CD into your CD-ROM drive click installer disk and then it should pick up the installer once you once you put the CD in then just if you but if you're installing it from an ISO file then what you want to do is just click on install it or disk image file ISO and then click on browse and then browse to the ISO file for the off for your installer or op for your operating system installer and it and if you pick one that has an operating system it's saying it couldn't not detect an operating system because I, I don't have any operating system ISOs on my machine it should say what operating system it is then you just want to click next and select what operating system it is right here so if I were installing Linux you just want to select Linux if you're installing wi a Windows virtual machine you just want to click on Windows and then you want to you want to select what version of the operating system you're installing down here and then just click next and then just click on if you want to rename your virtual machine something else you can by doing that here but I wouldn't recommend it just because um, I can it makes it easy it will automatically name it after the operating system which system you're installing which makes it easier to for me anyway identify my virtual machines if you want to I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't really recommend doing it, but if you want to, you can also change the location of your virtual machine by clicking on Browse and then just selecting where you want your virtual machine to be if you don't want it to be in this default folder, which is here. Then just click Next. And then set here, as you saw earlier, we can edit, you can go edit this in the settings. But here's where you set the maximum amount of space a virtual machine will be able to take up on your hard drive. So like, I'll just, it'll say by default something like 8 gigabytes or something, which really isn't that much. So if you want to increase it, you can just type in whatever uh, memory, how many gigabytes you want, and then you'll want to click it. Now we'll go into the options of storing virtual the virtual disk as a single file, or storing it splitting into multiple multiple files. If you split it into multiple files, you might have it have an easier time moving a virtual machine onto a different onto a different computer. But on the other hand, if you store it as a single file, the virtual machine your the fat the faster sorry your virtual machine will run. So once you've selected which one of those you want, you just click next. And then if you want it to edit edit the settings, it'll come up with sort of a hardware settings here. Just click on customize hardware. And then here you can choose how much RAM you, you can edit how much RAM you want to give it. And then well we already went through all this earlier, so I'll spare you the pain of having to go through it again. Then just click on close and click on finish. Then after that, 
it's not going to do anything because I don't have an op operating system installer for Solaris 9. You just want to click on Play Virtual Machine and it will then begin. It's going to say it can't find an operating system here because that, that's not an operating system installer. But if you selected the correct operating system installer ISO, then what will happen here is it will launch the installer for that operating system. And then you just run the installer and then ta-da, you've successfully installed that operating system on your computer. And then once you've done that, all you have to do, once it's installed, all you have to do is just go to VMware Workstation, VMware Player, and then just start that operating system, start that virtual machine when you want to run that operating system or run programs from it on your Windows computer. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said earlier, all the links will be in the description below. Other than that, have a nice day, and I'll see you next video. This is Fleet Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.